So you want to start trading, but you don't know where and how to get started. In this video, we will try to walk you through a step-by-step -step instruction of where and how to get started, how to select and set up your brokerage account, and fund your brokerage account so you can get started trading. So what is a brokerage account? A brokerage account is your account with a licensed brokerage firm that places trades on your behalf through the various exchanges and the types of assets and orders that you would like to place. There are different types of brokerage accounts and it is important to select one that meets your needs and types of trading. A full service brokerage account will give you more guidance and handholding, but may charge a higher fee. A discount brokerage account, typically an online account, will probably charge low to no fees, but will probably provide less service. There are a number of factors to consider when selecting a broker. In this video, we will try to highlight a few of them from the hours in which you can trade, the types of orders you can trade, the level of service they provide, the types of platforms or applications you can use to place your trade, and the types of assets you can trade through that broker. It is important that your brokerage firm allows you to trade during the hours in which you expect or wish to trade. Some brokers, like Webull, offer trading starting as early in pre-market as 4 a.m. all the way to the extended hours of 8 p.m. There's a link to Webull in the description box below. Ensure that the brokerage firm that you select supports the types of orders and the time frames that you need to place your orders. For example, if you need to place an order before or after your day job, ensure that they support order types covering market hours and extended hours. Webull is one of the few brokerage firms that allows an order called a good to cancel order covering multiple days, which includes the full extended hour period from pre-market at 4 a.m. through after hours at 8 p.m. Please find a link to Webull in the description box below. E-Trade also allows a single order for one day, a single day, that covers both that day and the extended hours period. However, you will have to recreate that order the next day if it was not executed on the previous day. You may also find a link to E-Trade in the description box below. Consider in advance what level of customer service you're going to need or expect. Some brokers offer phone service, online service, while others are only via email. Make sure your expectations are in line with the broker that you select. On what platform do you expect or prefer to do your trading? Ensure that your broker supports the platforms on which you expect or want to do your trading. For example, if you want to trade on your smartphone, ensure they have a mobile platform. Or if you're going to be trading on a browser or a desktop, make sure they support a trading platform on one of those devices. Do you want to trade shares of Amazon or Tesla, but you only have a little bit of money to allocate to that trade at a given time? Fractional shares are a new and popular way that you can own fractions of shares without having to purchase a whole amount. Only some trading brokers currently support fractional shares. Webull is one of the brokers that supports fractional shares trading. You can find a link to Webull again in the description box below. Trading cryptocurrencies is a new and popular form of trading. Only certain types of brokerage accounts currently support the direct trading of cryptocurrencies. Webull is one of the brokerage accounts that currently supports the direct trading of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. You can find a link again to Webull in the description box below. Buying power is the money that a trader 
currently has available to place a trade. It is important to understand how the brokerage firm allocates and settles your cash from a trade to your buying power to place new trades, as well as how they allocate margin to your buying power. Not all brokerage firms allow trading from individuals that are outside of the country in which they are based. Therefore, if you are looking at US-based brokerage firms and you are not within the US, please ensure that they support trading from your country. Do you think that you might want to trade options? Only a limited number of brokerage firms currently support the trading of options, particularly in retirement accounts. E-Trade is one of the brokerage firms that supports the trading of options in retirement accounts. You can find a link to E-Trade also in the description box below. Now that you have selected the brokerage firm that best meets your criteria for all the factors we have just discussed, how do I open a brokerage trading account? We will walk you step by step through the process of opening your first brokerage trading account. Step one in opening your first brokerage trading account is typically submitting a new account application. You should be able to apply online on the brokerage firm's website, which you are probably already familiar. You will need some identifying information such as social security number, driver's license, etc. You may need to submit additional forms if you're requesting the ability to trade other assets such as options, cryptocurrencies, etc. or in requesting margin privileges on your account. Your approval to trade riskier assets such as options, futures, or cryptocurrencies may depend on your risk profile and experience trading for which you may have to complete an additional questionnaire. Don't worry, you can often change your risk profile and update your experience in the future to be able to trade these additional assets. As part of the application process or upon approval of your initial application, you will be asked what type of account you want to create for your first account. Now we will look at the various account types so you can select the account type that's appropriate for you for your first account within your brokerage firm. The primary factor in selecting the type for your first account is what is your objective from trading in this account. Please see our previous video, What Do You Want From Trading, for which a link is included in the description box below to help you determine what, are you, what do you want from your trading in this account. If you are looking at trading to generate immediate income, or if you want to be able to short individual stocks within this account, then you're probably going to want to select a cash account for the account type. On the other hand, if you're looking for tax advantages and you don't need the money right away, then there are many benefits to a retirement IRA type account. If you are trading for retirement, then there are two primary types of individual retirement accounts or IRAs that we will discuss herein from which you can select the one that best meets your immediate and future needs. One of the key differences between a Roth and a traditional IRA is when you pay your taxes. With a Roth IRA, you pay taxes on contributions now and get tax-free withdrawals later. With a traditional IRA, you pay taxes when you withdraw them, typically once you are in retirement. Some factors in selecting between a Roth and traditional IRA is figuring out 
if you think your annual income or tax bracket will be lower or higher once you reach retirement age. Also, whether or not you believe that the tax rates will increase by the time that you reach retirement. We have included a link below to an excellent video from Matt Sorensen and Mark J. Kohler, who are tax advisors and attorneys, that explains their 10% rule that will help you determine whether a Roth or a traditional IRA is best for you. Again, you can find a link to their video in the description box below. Another consideration in selecting your retirement account type is what is called the Roth IRA five-year rule. Your Roth IRA has to be open for at least five years for you to be able to withdraw your earnings at no penalty. Therefore, it is often advisable to open a Roth IRA account as soon as possible. With a traditional IRA, you deduct your contributions now and you pay taxes on your withdrawals later. Therefore, if you believe that your tax bracket and the tax rate on your tax bracket may be lower in retirement, then a traditional IRA may be best for you. If you have a 401k from a previous employer, you may be able to roll over the funds from that 401k into what's called a rollover IRA in your new brokerage firm and trade using those funds in your new brokerage account. A margin account allows you to borrow from your broker to make purchases of stocks. You pay only a certain percent of the cost for the trade. However, the broker typically charges an interest rate for the use of the margin loan. It's important that you understand margin before utilizing it. The patterned day trader rule is a designation for traders that execute four or more day trades over the span of five days using a margin account. Pattern day traders are required to hold a minimum of $25,000 in your margin account, or you will be prohibited from making any further day trades until the balance is brought back up. If at any time you violate the PDT rule, your broker may impose further restrictions, such as requiring you to deposit further funds or may prohibit you from further day trades until the issue has been resolved. Therefore, if you are going to day trade, please understand the PDT rule. Once you have opened the account of the type that you have selected, there are multiple ways to fund your trading account. You can transfer funds electronically via EFT, via a linked checking or savings account, which is very convenient, and may take a few business days for the funds to be cleared. Alternately, you may fund your account via wire transfer from your bank to your brokerage firm. This is very quick as it is a direct transfer. However, some brokerage firms or your bank may charge for a wire transfer. Alternately, you may send your brokerage firm a check, which may take a number of days to be received, processed, and cleared in your account. You can also transfer the funds or assets from an existing account to your new brokerage account. For example, if you are rolling over a 401k, you can transfer the funds from the 401k into your rollover IRA, typically via a check issued from one brokerage firm to the other. You can also transfer stocks that you may hold in one account to another. Congratulations, you've got your first brokerage account set up and funded and you're ready to start trading, right? Well, first you need to know and learn how to trade. So how do you do that? We will be developing a wide variety of additional videos, so please subscribe and hit the notify on our channel to get notified of all the additional videos on learning how to trade. If 
you really want to become a trader, you need to become a voracious student of trading. What that means is reading books, newsletters, articles, etc., watching financial shows on TV about trading like CNBC, Jim Cramer, Bloomberg Technology. These are some of our favorites. Be passionate about trading and learn all you can. Start familiarizing yourself with the different types of markets. There are stock markets, multiple exchanges, the NASDAQ, Dow, S&P. There are bond markets, treasury markets, futures markets, commodities, etc. It's good to know how these markets work, how they move together, what news affects them, as this will impact the types of trading you want to do and how you trade. Learn how to read stock charts. What does an uptrend look like? What does a downtrend look like? What does a support level look like or a resistance level? How do these uh, stocks tend to move over time? This will help you in any type of trading that you choose to do. We'll be doing additional videos on how to read stock charts, and there are others that also do excellent videos on how to read stock charts. Accumulate screen time. What this means is actually watching the movement of a stock while it's trading so that you get familiar with the price action of the markets while trading is occurring. If you are working or in college, get whatever time you can. Anything worth doing takes time and effort. Trading is no different. It will take you time to get a feel and get your mind to recognize how things tend to move in the tar in the markets. Therefore, the more screen time you can accumulate, the better it will help your trading and the more successful you will be going forward. Learn how to recognize chart patterns. While you are watching the price action of a stock or a market move, your mind will start to recognize that certain patterns reoccur and you'll start to be able to predict what follows after seeing a particular pattern. Traders over the years have identified a number of patterns that indicate a future bullish or bearish tendency in a stock, meaning that the pattern will indicate that a stock is likely to go up, bullish, or down, bearish, after seeing such a pattern. Learning these chart patterns and training your mind to recognize them quickly will help you predict the possibility of a stock going up or down after seeing such a pattern in the near future so that you can trade accordingly. Start learning the tools of the trading trade. Familiarize yourself with the trading platform from the brokers that you have selected. Learn how to use the commonly used tools that other traders use. Find the ones that work best for you. Over time, you'll find the tools that are best for your type of trading and preference. Learn where and how to research the fundamentals of a stock. Also called due diligence, this allows you to evaluate the health of the company, the health of the stock, and the important ratios and financial metrics that may affect the price of the stock in the future. We also plan to do a number of videos on various trading tools to show you how to use them to benefit your trading and also how to do due diligence and research companies and stocks to assess whether they are right for your type of trading. Please subscribe to our channel click the bell icon to be notified and keep an eye on our channel to find those types of videos that will benefit you. So you're ready to start trading. Before you start risking your hard earned money, we would highly recommend that you start trading the stocks you have identified, the strategy you have chosen using essentially paper money. Many of the platforms like Weeble allow you to simulate your trades in what they call paper trading without risking your real money. Paper trading also allows you to test out 
various hypotheses and strategies to find the one that will make you the most consistently profitable as soon as you are able. Once you find a strategy and style in which you are consistently profitable using paper trading, then you will be ready to move on to trading with real money. Once you have proven that your strategies and trading styles are consistently profitable using paper trading, now you're ready to start trading with your hard-earned money. We highly recommend that you start small, retest your strategy using real money, see how your emotions affect your trading and what you need to do to be consistently profitable using your real money. We hope that you have found all of this helpful to get started in your trading career. We hope that you like this video. We hope that you will subscribe to our channel, share this with your friends, fellow traders, etc. And please click the notify the bell icon to be notified of further content. Good luck and we wish you a great trading career.